Alright, in this problem solving video I'm going to show you how to solve an equilibrium constant problem uh, using algebra. Alright, so here's our problem. We've got the equilibrium between hydrogen iodine and hydrogen iodide and we know that KEQ for this process at some given temperature is 45.9. And we're told that two moles of hydrogen and three moles of iodine are put into a sealed glass vessel with a volume of two litres and allowed to come to equilibrium. And we're asked to con calculate the concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium. All right, the first two steps in any problem like this are to write the equilibrium expression and to construct an equilibrium table like the ones that you've seen before. So let's do the equilibrium expression uh, first. We'll do it over here. So KEQ is going to do products over reactants. So we've got the concentration of hydrogen iodide squared over the concentration of hydrogen times the concentration of iodine. And next we're going to construct an equilibrium table. So we can do initial moles or initial concentration rather and final or equilibrium concentration and we might as well put the the change row in there just for clarity and we have our equilibrium up the top here okay now we know we know already that the initial we're going to do this in concentration so our volume is two liters and we know that we have two moles of hydrogen in two liters. So C equals N over V. So the concentration of hydrogen is two over two, which equals one mole per liter. So we've got one mole per liter of hydrogen. And we've got three moles of iodine in two liters. So it's gonna be three divided by two, which is 1.5 moles per liter. And we have no hydrogen iodide to start off with. Okay, now that's all we know. We're not told how much of any of the species is formed at equilibrium. We have to work that out. And this is where we start using the tables with a variable like x. Okay, so let's say that the, uh, as it comes to equilibrium, let's say that x amount of hydrogen is used up. So I'm going to say that the change in hydrogen is x. All right. So then the equilibrium concentration of hydrogen will be 1 minus x. Now there's a 1 to 1 ratio bin hi between hydrogen and iodine. So if x moles per litre of hydrogen is used, then x moles per litre of iodine must also be used. So at equilibrium we have 1.5 minus x for iodine. And it's a 1 to 2 ratio between hydrogen and hydrogen iodide. So if x moles of hydrogen is used, then 2x moles of hydrogen iodide must have been made. So at equilibrium, we have 2x uh, hydrogen iodide. OK, so we now have equilibrium concentrations. They're in terms of x, but we do have expressions for them. And we also have uh, an equilibrium expression that relates those concentrations to each other. So what we're going to do now is uh, substitute our uh, concentrations in terms of x into our equilibrium expression. So we're going to get KEQ. We already know that this equals 45.9. So I'm going to put that equals 45.9, which equals, so we put the concentration of hydrogen iodide on top, that's 2x, and it's squared, over the concentrations of hydrogen and iodine multiplied together. So we've got 1 minus x and 1.5 minus x. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to sort of multiply this out and simplify it, and you'll find that it turns into a quadratic equation of this is same type that you've been solving for, well, at least the last two years. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the bottom of this equation, the 1 minus x times 1.5 minus x, uh, across to the other side and multiply it all by 45.9. So it's going to look like this. And 2x all squared is 4x squared. 
So we now have this. Uh, and I'm then going to do a couple of steps to simplify it. I'm not going to write them all out here. I'd like you to try and do them for yourself. It's good algebra practice. Uh, but what you should end up with is something that looks like... And this looks like a standard quadratic. Um, which you can solve, of course, using the standard formula that you all know and love. x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Uh, in this case, your a is 41.9, your b is minus 114.75, and your c is 68.85. So you plug those in and you solve it and what you will find is that x comes out with two values because of the plus or minus x uh, the two x's that solve this equation are either x equals 0.89 or x equals 1.85 now you go back to your equilibrium table and you look at what your final equilibrium concentrations were going to be Hydrogen was going to be 1 mole per litre minus x. So it actually makes no physical sense for x to be 1.85 because you can't use more than you started with. We had 1 mole per litre to start with and if x is 1.85 then we've used more than we had. So this is always the case with these equilibrium problems. When you solve them using the x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, you will always find that there are two solutions and you will always find that one of the two solutions is physically uh, impossible. So you find out which one is physically impossible and you cross that out and then x is the one that remains. So in this case x equals 0.89. So we can now answer the question that we were asked in the first place, which was to calculate the concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium. We know from our table that the concentration of hydrogen iodide was 2x. We know that x is 0.89. Therefore, concentration of hydrogen iodide equals 2 times 0.89, which equals 1.78. Alright, now this, it looks like a long and difficult problem and there are quite a few steps that you have to follow, but each step individually is not that difficult and it uses skills that you already had, mostly algebra. This, this does tend to be a very algebraic course. Um, and the, if you're feeling worried about this kind of problem, the best thing that you can do is practice a whole heap of them. So uh, make sure you do all the um, exercise sheets and I will put extra problems as we get closer to the test I'll put extra problems up on Moodle as well for you to practice on. Good luck.